At the police station, Linda meets Jim and asks him about the propane. He finally comes clean and tells her about his involvement in the smuggling. Linda knows the right thing to do would be to arrest him, but not in a situation like this. She understands they did it for the town and decides to let it go until the crisis is over. At Julia's house, someone knocks on the door. When she goes to open it, Max from the other side shoots her and runs away. It is her way of punishing Barbie for not obeying her. Barbie quickly comes downstairs and helps Julia. Right then, Joe comes to Julia's to see Barbie trying to keep her alive. He quickly gets them in a car and drives them to the hospital. Although on the way, they are interrupted because of the heavy storm. They make it to the hospital on time. Since the nurse is busy, Barbie has to take care of Julia himself. The thunderstorm causes the blocked radio signals to come through again. Dodie immediately tracks a frequency and hears the soldiers talking from outside. They confirm that Barbie is inside the dome and claim that he is the one they have been looking for. Dodie understands Barbie is not just an ordinary man. Junior is home alone when Angie bangs on his doors. She begs him to come back to the barn to help them. By now, the storm has turned into a spiral of clouds in the sky. As it grows stranger, Angie relates it to Junior's rejection. She thinks if he agrees to join the group again, it will stop. The two make their way to the barn, which instantly stops the storm as Angie had predicted. At the same time, Barbie saves Julia's life even though she had already lost her heartbeat. A shocked Joe connects the dots and comes to a conclusion that Barbie is the monarch that the dome told them about. He runs back to the barn to tell the others about it. Then we see Max returning home when she discovers her mother's dead body by the waters. She cries mourning her death but it is soon taken over by anger. She knows Jim is the one who killed her and makes it her mission to end his life. Barbie meets Jim outside the hospital. He is nervous about what Max might do after finding out about her mother's death. Hence, they decide to go to the cement factory and end her life once and for all. On reaching the place, Barbie does something to the generator as a backup plan. Then they go inside, but see no one around. Suddenly, Max and her minion point their guns at the two and hold them hostage. Max is upset about her mother's death and will not spare either of them, but she makes the mistake of not killing them instantly. The generator suddenly stops working and the other two take over the guns. They bring Max outside and Barbie leaves Jim to do whatever he wants with them. As he is walking away, Jim shoots Max and the guy dead. Barbie is in shock and doesn't support Jim's decision. Jim in turn points the gun at him. When Linda arrives at the location, it seems like Barbie killed the others and is trying to kill Jim too. She tries to arrest him, but Barbie smacks her in the face and runs away. After that, Jim goes to the radio tower and is told about the message that Dodie heard from the military. He declares Barbie a criminal and accuses him of killing Peter, Max, her assistant, and Agatha. He is also accused of trying to murder Julia when the truth is far from it. The people of Chester's Mill are asked to report to the police as soon as they see him. Then we see the four chosen ones at the border of the dome. They touch the wall together and get the same vision. Jim is standing on the other side of the dome watching them. Suddenly, he starts bleeding from different parts of his body as if he was stabbed. When the four look down at their hands, they see bloodied knives. The vision troubles Junior the most and he runs to see his father. When he is not around, Angie tells the others that the dome wants them to kill Jim. Jim knows that if Barbie tells people he didn't kill anyone, his truth will be out. 
Hence, he paints Barbie as the villain and asks the entire town to be on high alert for the murderer on the loose. He also organizes a home-to-home -home search party with the help of people. Linda doesn't necessarily support him, but he has manipulated her into thinking he is the good guy. Somewhere else, Julia is still in a coma, but out of danger. She is said to come back to consciousness in a few days. Meanwhile, in the radio station, Dodie listens to the soldiers from outside. They talk about Barbie and how he should be contacted as soon as possible. They also seem to know something about the black egg, but do not talk much about it. Still, the term triggers something in Dodie's mind, and she remembers she was electrocuted by the egg and a mini dome over it. She also goes through her phone's camera roll, which has a picture of the egg she took before falling unconscious. She quickly goes to Jim to tell him about it, unaware that he is the real villain. In the barn, Angie, Joe, and Nori are taking care of the egg in the dome. They try to make sense of the vision of Jim's death they saw earlier. Angie thinks they should kill him as soon as possible, but since Junior is also on their team, they cannot risk losing him. For now, they decide to wait for the butterfly inside the dome to come out of its cocoon. Suddenly, Carolyn barges in and sees the glowing egg. Nori explains everything to her and begs her to not tell the authorities. She agrees to help them, knowing that Jim isn't someone who can be trusted. Junior goes to his father and hugs him, thankful that he is safe. After seeing the vision of Jim's death, he is even more protective of him. Jim orders him to be a guard for Julia so Barbie won't try to harm her again. He also emphasizes that he must be informed if she gains consciousness. He wants to make sure she won't tell the people that Barbie isn't the one who tried to kill her. After that, Dodie comes to Jim to tell him what she heard on the radio. They go to the radio station and listen to the recording once again. Jim also finds out about the egg and that it is inside Joe's barn. But then they hear the soldiers talking about how Jim killed the pastor after the nuclear attack. Dodie hears this and is shocked. She fearfully asks him how many people he has killed. Knowing that his secret is out, Jim confesses to all his crimes. Right after, he kills Dodie and sets the station on fire. Linda finds out about this and so does Dodie's best friend Phil. They assume it was Barbie who killed her since Dodie's broadcast was encouraging people to look for him. In the meantime, Barbie finds Angie and tells her that Julia's life is in danger. Jim has tied up all the loose ends, except when Julia wakes up, his lie will be out. Hence, Barbie has to protect her before Jim gets to her. Angie agrees to help him and takes him inside the hospital through the back door. She also brings Junior aside to distract him, while Barbie brings an unconscious Julia to the ambulance. Junior finds out and calls Linda immediately. Barbie makes Angie drive the ambulance away, while he distracts the police since they are after him. The plan works and Angie is able to take Julia away. She also manages to get a police radio, so she would be informed about where the police are looking for them. Linda confronts Barbie and Phil knocks him down, getting him arrested. Somewhere else, Nori and Joe bring the egg to Ben's house, which has already been checked by the search party. They don't want to keep it in the barn and risk Jim finding it. Ben agrees to help and keeps the egg in his room. While they are at it, Jim and his men come to the barn to look for the egg, but are stopped by Carolyn. She tries to argue that they cannot search someone's home in the absence of the owner, but Jim is not someone who backs down. He makes his men hold her back. Joe and Nori arrive and try to fight them, but are also held back by Jim's helpers. However, when he opens the barn, he is surprised that it is empty. 
He asks the kids where the egg is, but they pretend to not know what he is talking about. As a result, they are arrested and thrown in jail. Jim plans to threaten them to find out the location of the egg. He doesn't want the egg to bring the dome down before he kills everyone who might testify against him in the future, like Julia and Barbie. In the cells, Joe and Nori think of an escape plan. Jim arrives and again threatens them to reveal where the egg is. Nori instead calls him a coward, which urges him to get inside her cell. She attacks him with a knife, but the man dodges it in an instant. He gives them a last chance to redeem themselves before storming off. Linda brings Barbie and locks him up with his hands chained. A scared Jim asks her if Julia was conscious when she was last spotted, but Linda has no clue. At Ben's house, the egg starts making screeching noises that make his head hurt. He covers it with several layers of clothing and hopes that Joe returns soon. In the following scene, Jim approaches Barbie and asks him to confess to the murder charges. He threatens Barbie with Joe, Nori, and Julia's lives, making him reluctantly agree to do whatever he says. As a result, Joe and Nori are let free. Jim makes Linda follow them, knowing that the kids will go to the mini dome directly. After that, Junior meets his father and asks him if he is hiding something. He thinks that the fact Jim wants to be the first one to talk to Julia is strange. Jim lies and claims that Barbie has confessed to the murders. This confirms that he just wants Julia's safety and makes Junior trust him again. Somewhere else, Julia wakes up and reveals that she was shot by Max. On finding out that Jim is accusing Barbie forcefully, she has to tell people the truth. Joe, Nori, and Carolyn get to Ben's house and hear the noise he has been complaining about. They notice that the egg is glowing and making movements. Linda also sees the egg having followed the kid. Carolyn tries to make her understand that they are doing the right thing, but Linda refuses to believe them. Suddenly, the butterfly comes out but is weak since it is trapped. The group has to find a way to get it out, but they do not know how to do so. Outside the police station, a crowd of people has gathered to witness Barbie confessing to all the murders. However, on being asked, he pleads not guilty. Jim furiously drags him inside and asks him to play by the rules. Back at Ben's, the dome starts turning black and the butterfly falls unconscious. Simultaneously, the bigger dome also turns black, causing Chester's mill to experience nighttime in broad daylight. Outside, everyone starts to panic and pray. Linda still refuses to trust the kids and touches the mini dome which causes her to be thrown to the wall. This gives the others an opportunity to run away with the egg. Junior arrives at the right time and helps them. Meanwhile, Julia goes to an unguarded police station and frees Barbie. Phil tries to stop them, but Barbie manages to knock him out even with his hands tied. On their way outside, Joe contacts them on the police radio and asks them to come to a secret place that Angie knows about. Jim and Linda are at Ben's home. They also hear the message from Joe but do not know what the secret place is. A while later, the four chosen ones, Barbie and Julia, meet at the cement factory. Junior tries to attack Barbie, but is stopped because they need him if he is actually the monarch the dome told them about. Julia tells Junior that Barbie didn't shoot her. Everyone tries to tell him the truth about his father, but he is too blinded by his love to believe them. After the discussion, the Chosen Four touch the dome and cause it to turn into dust. The butterfly seems to be dead at first, but then it starts flying around Barbie. The group thinks this means he is the monarch. However, right after, the ground starts to shake. Something tells Julia to pick up the egg and she does so. Because of this, the shaking stops. This time, the butterfly sits on the egg, declaring Julia the monarch. 
Somewhere else, Jim plans to execute Barbie in front of the entire town to assert his dominance and to showcase the false sense of justice to the people. Using Phil's help, he wants people to make gallows for the occasion. To look for Joe and the others, Linda goes to their house and ends up in their barn. She sees the stars and constellations drawn on the ceiling and tells Jim about it on the phone. She also sees the pink stars are falling written on the wall. Upon hearing this, Jim is shocked because his late wife used to repeat the same thing years ago before her death. To investigate further, he brings Linda to his wife's studio and shows her a painting of the black egg and the pink stars falling on top of it. It is clear that Jim and Junior are connected to the dome in a way no one else is. Back at the cement factory, Junior wants to take the egg to the real authority, unaware that his father would destroy it. When the others retaliate, he brings out a gun and threatens them to hand the egg over. Barbie tackles him down, giving the others just enough time to run away. However, as a result, he is arrested yet again. Julia and the others meet in the woods and ask the egg what they should do next. Suddenly, Nori's late mother, Alice, comes to them. She reveals that she is not the real Alice, but has come as a bridge to communicate between them and another group. She tells them that their motto is to protect the egg at any cost, and they will find the reason later on. In the police station, Jim mocks Barbie since the entire town is waiting for his execution. Barbie in turn says that one day, the town will be doing the same to him. Meanwhile, Julia and the group go to the diner to hide. They hear Jim talk on the radio, wanting them to hand in the egg in exchange for Barbie's life. After that, Junior visits Jim and inquires if he really killed people like everyone is accusing him of. Jim comes clean and confesses to the murders, but he manipulates Junior to think he did everything for the town and its people. A naive junior still trusts his father and agrees to side with him if he doesn't lie from now onwards. Julia knows that the entire town will be dead if the egg falls into the wrong hands. Since she is the monarch, she takes the responsibility to keep it safe. She also asks the others to rest for the night in a safer place and goes out with the egg. A while later, Everyone in the town gathers to witness the execution. Barbie is set on the gallows with a rope around his neck. At the same time, Julia reaches the lake and gets on a boat before dropping the egg into the water. It creates pink sparks that fly into the sky, creating an illusion of pink stars flying. Everyone in the town sees them, mesmerized by the view. This also stops the execution seconds before Barbie is killed. The pink glowing substance makes a bright light in the sky that covers the entire Chester's mill, making the dome white. Sub subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.